Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I'm showing you how to do a headband with a color gradient. So if you want to see how you can make it all by yourself, stay tuned. We will need a 6mm crocheting needle for today's project. Then here is our wool and additionally we need a darning needle or a bigger regular needle will work as well. So we are starting with a little loop and then 13 chains. There we go. Now we can do one for the height. And then a yarn over. And we don't go into our turning chain, but into the 13th. And we do a half treble crochet there. Three loops on the needle and we pull the thread through. I'll do it one more time. Yarn over the needle, through the chain, and through all three loops. And now that you're at the end of the row, again do a chain for the height and take the yarn over the needle and do the same thing. Half treble crochets. And we will need a total of five such rows. Okay, now that we did this, this is what we have. So now the next row we will do in singles. So we again turn with one chain and then we go through the first stitch we see and we take the thread through both loops. So almost the same thing, just without the yarn over. At the end of the row, we do a chain for the height and we again do singles. Now that we did this, we can go back to the half trebles, so we will take a chain to turn. And then we will again do 5 rows and half trebles. After these five rows, we again do two rows with singles. And now that we did this, we can again start five rows and half trebles and then again the two rows and singles. And we will keep repeating this until we have the length so that the headband fits around our head. And just so you have something to go by, I'm going between 63 and 64 rows. Here I am after a while, so I have one half of my rows done. So you see here the color gradient and how lovely it switches. And I just wanted to show you how it's developing before I finish it completely. Here is our last row, so let's pull the thread a bit out and shorten it.
pull through and then take your darning needle or a regular one and let's sew the two ends together. I'll show you the result afterwards. Here is our connecting section and our headband is done. I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to shoot us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you did like this. And thanks for watching DIY Ideas. Stay tuned for the next video and have a great day. Bye!